It's quite distinctive in comparison to, I guess, like the majority of geography courses in that it is essentially human geography. Um, and so that's ideal for me uh, because it's, it's very broad within that realm. But I find the best thing about it is that like it's extremely um, current, like it's, it's always looking at things that you could pick up the newspaper and say, well, that's relevant to this module, that's relevant to this module. And as a result, you kind of, you definitely feel like you're doing something which, um, you know, could be helping you in the future. I think I, I find some of the mathematical side of things a bit more challenging because I'm not naturally a mathematician, but at the same time, I think it makes quite a nice break because sometimes when you're like reading pages and pages and pages of text, it gets your mind to kind of think in a different way. So, although it might not perhaps come naturally to me, um, I've, I've kind of grown to like it in its own way. It's Thursday the 13th of December and this is Pulse News. In the LSE's headlines today, Professor Richard Sen This is the Pulse Studios, the radio of LSE, um, which is like output online, but you can also listen back and things. Um, it runs from 11 o'clock in the morning up till um, 10 or 11 at night uh, along the week um, and loads of students get involved doing all kinds of shows from like jazz to dubstep to sort of more like talk shows and that kind of thing but like the media is basically something I'm really interested in and you know I feel like it's really important to engage with kind of all, all um, levels of it whether that's in print or uh, on air. It's pretty much got it all. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I like the way it's divided into different areas so that you've got a kind of the beanbag area, which is nicer if you're just like reading something and doing things more casually or if you're doing group work because you can talk around that area. Um, and then, I mean, obviously it goes way up to the fourth floor um, where I like to go if I'm kind of trying to focus myself in and be very serious um, because it's dead silent and um, you can just, you know, get on with what you need to do. Uh, but most importantly, you've obviously got all the resources you need in one place on campus. Um, and so it's, um, it's also the kind of place where you're, you're always going to be bumping into friends and stuff, so you never feel like you're having to work too hard. I think um, the first thing about LSE's campus that kind of struck me by surprise was the fact that it far more like compact and well linked than I thought it would be. I guess from having visited other universities in London I was expecting perhaps like having to take a bus or something to get potentially between different classes and stuff but obviously that's not actually the case. I, I think that there's a very different feel to like secondary school you know there's not there's not the same sort of social hierarchy so I think generally speaking everyone's looking out for everyone else because they're they're curious to meet people. I've got friends from uh, like Somalia, we've got um, a girl from Cyprus in the geography department, a guy from Hong Kong. Um, I was like interested in one of the uh, societies recently which is about African trade and I met a girl from Ghana. Just you name it, we've got it. Um, and, and that again just gives you so much to learn from. It's really interesting. So um, now I'm in one of my lectures. This is GY205, which is about political geography. So um, we look at aspects such as nationalism and also kind of what the real foundations of democracy are. Um, this lecture happens to be a two hour one, but the majority of my lectures are just one hour. So with um, four geography modules uh, this term, I will be then doing about five, six hours of lectures a week, accompanied by about one hour for each of those modules. Um, 
On top of that, I also do the uh, LSE 100 module, which is a compulsory module for all students. The LSE 100 module and uh, exam is basically all about becoming um, a social scientist. And so we cover topics from all different disciplines um, throughout the school. Our assessment at LSE, it varies according to which subject you're doing, um, but it primarily takes the form of either examinations at the end of the year, uh, some are held in January, or there are also sort of coursework pieces and assessed essays, um, which means that your work is divided throughout the year. The style's pretty relaxed and um, it's very much up to you to decide what works for you best. Um, some people choose to take loads and loads of notes, others record the lecture, um, people use their laptops or just pen and paper. Um, but the best thing is to, when you arrive, to experiment and find out what, what works best for you. Um, but the best thing about it is that with technology, um, the LSE is definitely on top of that and uh, most lectures can either be watched again uh, online or also the lecture slides are available for you. So in a lecture you can focus on what the lecturer is saying rather than having to scribble down um, everything which is on the board. Um, I'm just about to go for a run. Uh, we're not too far from the river, so I like to go along that way. And is this something you often do? Um, yeah, at the moment I'm training for the marathon, so uh, I'm having to keep nice and fit. Um, but I also go to a running club like twice a week, which is on Mondays and Wednesdays, and that's just in Covent Garden. And what are your plans for this evening? Um, tonight I'm going to a house party. It's um, one of my friend's birthday, so it uh, should be a nice way to cool off after what's been quite a, an intense week. All right. I'm off now, see you later.